Hello and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing Everything is for Humanity. Now you might remember that on the channel a few months ago I played the demo to this and really quite enjoyed it, but now the full game has been released, so if you want to play it for yourselves, of course the links and the details are down below in the description as usual, okay? So this is going to be a first person sci-fi horror game where I'm going to be playing as a software developer working in a company that creates AI, synthetic brains, bodies, androids, and some fairly dangerous ones, if I'm remembering the demo correctly. I really hope you enjoy it. If you do, leave this video a like, but here we go. Let's begin a new game. And I think I'm going to choose Standard. God be my witness. If I would have known, or at least predicted, I would have never been a part of this. I was the most important puppet of a charlatan who wishes for two crazier things than a healthy mind can imagine and hides behind the cover of science while doing these. Therefore, I do not have the words to express the guilt and regret I feel. Nevertheless, I can try to express it with these words. I have no doubts that God will add a new item to the list of major sins for the things I've done or pioneered. What you're about to learn may only make you feel restless and suspicious for the rest of your life. <laughs> Is that all? Therefore, I never want my writing to be read by sensitive minds. The world keeps turning. Let other people not know what's going on while the world is turning. I'm not writing this for someone to do something. Anyway, there's nothing to do. What I know very clearly is that my brain is no longer as clear as it was before. So, before I've not yet completely lost control of my brain, I want to record what's happened. Also, writing all these makes me relaxed. Just a little bit. Dear reader, firstly, I'm sorry for everything you will and have been through. However, at the very beginning, everything was for humanity. Hmm, alright. So, where did everything go so wrong? <sighs> ah, this is the section from the demo. Please leave the facility immediately. Repeat. Attention. Fuck! What's going on here? This is That's a great a question, Dan. High security All right, here we are. I'm in control. Please leave the facility. And I have one hell of a limp. Right. Where's everyone else? I guess they heeded the warnings. They listened to the voice. They got out of here, which is what I'm going to do. Let's go for the exit here. Get through the door. All right. High security mode enabled. Entries and exits to the facility are closed. Please right. contact the security forces. There's no escaping. Okay, well, here we are. This is the underground facility where the company and I work. But there's no escape. So, no point going up those stairs. But we are going for some stairs. I think the one's at the very end of the hall here. So, yeah, this does look very sci-fi, very futuristic. Although, to be honest, I think it's actually set in 2020. So now it's actually set in the past. <laughs> but yeah, the visuals in this game do look good. Ah, uh, I'm not going to make it to the stairs, am I? No. I knew it was just a matter of time. Alright. And I'm back. And apparently my limp has gone. All I needed was a short nap on the floor. Okay, so active objectives, let's see. Okay, so it looks like I need to head down to the basement to interact with the main breaker and set the power mode to balanced. Right, I think I need to go down these stairs here to get down to the basement. Alright. Oh, right, yeah. Let's see. No? Ah, oh, what about this one? Ah, oh, man, really? I thought the devs would have fixed that. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. Right, yeah, down here. So... I was just going to say, it's a little bit dark, but thankfully, I've got this. I've got a little smartwatch. So, obviously it shows the date, the time, the location, but it's also got flashlight functionality. There you go. I mean, it's not brilliant, but it's better than nothing. Okay, let's see. Pretty fancy place, isn't it? If one day my words are against science, choose science. Hmm, did we do that, Mustafa? I don't know. I think I want to get through here, but I... Right, I'm going to need the security keycard, which, as I recall, isn't too far away, but it has been a few months, so let's see. Um, through here? 
Oh yeah, of course. Through the door marked security. There you go. Yeah, it is in here somewhere. You can locate objects of interest by focusing. Ah, there you go. Nicely highlighted for me. Nifty. So that's the key card. Anything else? I'm just scanning the area or focusing the area. Not seeing anything. What about this door here? Nah, I don't think we can get through. At least not quite yet. But now that I've got that key card, I should be able to go out around the corner and scan my way through that door, right? There you go. Yeah, because I played this in the demo, I'm probably going to get through this section fairly quickly, but I'll let you know when it becomes a blind playthrough again, okay? To be honest, I think we're using the elevator, because it looks like the stairs are kind of out of commission. And through here? Hmm. Nah, that's not going to work. Anything else? Oh, focus even shows me where to go. Alright. So yeah, this is going to be our way down. And it looks like we're riding this elevator alone. Where is everyone? And did they just abandon me in the conference room? What dicks? <laughs> right, okay. Down to the basement we go. Let's sort out this power. Alright, here we are. In the basement. Let's have a little look, shall we? I've got to find a way to reactivate the energy systems. Uh, it's kind of dark down here, so maybe I should bring this back out. There you go. Alright, restricted area. Do not enter. We'll see about that. Right, okay. The door's locked from the other side. Never mind. <laughs> Let's go this way, shall we? And here to the right? Yeah. Uh, okay, we can lean to the sides with Q and E. Oh, yeah, right, we can do it while we're running as well. We can look over our shoulder, yeah. That's nice. I love being able to see what's chasing me. And let's be honest, I am going to get chased in this game. Right, so, let's see, let's focus. I can barely see a thing. <laughs> but it looks like there's nothing to find, so... Right, can we go through here? Okay. This door is also locked from the other side. Right, I think some of the doors have... Right, these things. Yeah, it's, it's dead bolted. It's bolt locked. There you go. Just take that off. And through we go. Alright. I think I'm safe at the moment. So, we got the pump room, the generator room, and of course the breaker room's over there. I definitely want to go through there, but maybe not quite yet. Maybe I want to do a little bit of prep first. Let's go to the pump room. This way? This way, okay. Alright. Let's see, is there something here? I Yep, okay, my memory isn't failing me. There is an item here. It's a jerry can, I think, filled with gasoline. And I think I might need to use that on the generator. Let's see. Speaking of which, I think that is the generator. This doorway's blocked up, though. I don't know if I can pull this away. Can I? No? Uh, maybe that's for the best. So, there's nothing else here, aside from a lot of paper? Okay. <laughs> right, let's see. Around here? Ah. This might be the door that I tried to get through a moment ago. So, right. Yep, there you go. Back to the corridor? That's right. Okay, so anything back here? <laughs> nope. Again, I can't see a thing. Literally. Alright. Nah, nah, let's keep that open. I want to keep all the doors open that I can, because that actually might give me a good chance of survival for what's coming up next. Let's go this way. This should lead to the generator room, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's all coming back to me, like a PTSD flashback. Let's go this way. Yeah, the demo section was quite hard, so I'm just going to see if I can make it as easy for myself as possible. So here we go. Here's the generator. I can pull this back and put in the fuel, but not yet. Not yet. Right. Is that locked? It's not. Either way, let's get the door open. Let's see. Nothing else to have a look at. Out into another corridor. Right. This door might be the one that I tried first. This might lead back to the elevator. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. Right. I think I've probably opened all the doors I possibly can. 
So I can be quite mobile. I can run. And I probably will want to run. So, yeah. Let's see if I have increased my chances of survival, right? <laughs> okay, so let's pull this back and let's put in the fuel. Because you remember what I was saying about dangerous androids at the beginning? Well, we're about to meet one. Okay, it's all in. There you go. 90 seconds. Oh, wait. What the fuck is this? That is one of the androids. That is what I want to avoid at all costs. And it looks like she's heading in that direction. So, of course, what I'm going to do... What I'm going to do is I'm going to go this way. She can be quite fast when she wants to be, as I recall. Uh, and to be honest, she might notice this light. So I'm going to take it away. Alright. Hopefully I'm not going to bump into her. I don't see her. Was there a... I don't know if there's a crouch in this game, but there is a walk if you hold control. Right. Let's see. The breaker room. Is the door open? The door is still closed. Maybe she hasn't gone in here yet. Or maybe she's gone in and she's closed the door behind her. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Alright, let's take this slow. Oh. Fucking hell. I think that got me in the demo as well. Ooh. <laughs> I didn't jump, you jumped. Okay. I don't think she's in here. Or if she is, she's hiding fairly well. I just gotta check everything just in case. Alright, hang on. Yeah, it's very dark around here. Whoa, shit, 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 shit! Oh, oh. Okay, she came in. The music's playing, but maybe she didn't see where I ran off to. Right. Okay. I'm very calmly going to walk around the corner. She's there. She's right there. Which is, I think, exactly where I need to be, because I think I need to interact with this bit over here. Oh, shit. Hey! Are you gonna move? Because I think I want you to move. Oh boy. One eternity later. Is she gone? It seems like she's gone. Okay. She disappeared in a flash. Right. There you go. I was only waiting around there for like two or three minutes, but here we are. Right, so I need it to be balanced mode, don't I? So certain things need to be on, certain things need to be off. So let's have a look. Uh, oh, fucking hell. There was 90 seconds, right? Well, that came and went a long time ago. Right, so I need to make it back to the generator now. Ah, shit. Why couldn't I have been a little bit quicker? Right. Well, she's not here anymore, so... Where's she gone? Let's find out, shall we? Right. I don't know. It might be best if I go to the left. Yeah. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I, I don't know exactly where she is. I think she must be behind me, so I'm just running. I am just running. Oh, yep, yeah, she's running behind me as well. Okay, right. Ah, uh, I guess I can just keep on running and head back to the generator, right? She's still following me? I'm not really sure. Okay, okay. Sounds like she's kind of left me alone. Uh. Okay. I don't know which way to go here. Definitely not that way! Definitely not that way! Right. Okay, through here. Okay, she is pretty damn fast, but I think I'm a little bit faster. I might be able to run straight into the break room and sort that puzzle out before the power gets turned off. Okay. Ah, oh, shit! Okay, okay. I need to lure her back to the elevator, really, don't I? That's what I need to do. 
She's hard to lose. I suppose what I could do is maybe trap her in somewhere? Like, lock her in? I don't know. Right, I'm just going straight in. There we go. There we go. Right, 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 right. I'm going to calmly walk, just in case she can hear me. Hopefully I've got enough time to sort this out. So, balance mode. So, let's see. And then these two. There we go! Right, okay. Can she follow me in again? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure you get caught in this game, you get stabbed. Alright. So far, so good. I really don't like being here. I'm boxed in, it's a dead end. Very, very bright now, isn't it? Right. Left or right? Right is quickest, so I'm going to go right. I hate the fact that I don't know where she is. She's still around. I know that much. Okay. This seems too good to be true, quite honestly. Where the hell is she? Probably don't want to know the answer to that question. Right, let's just hit the button and let's get inside. She's not ready and waiting for me? Good. Right. Back up to floor zero. Bloody hell. Oh, I knew she wasn't too far away. Whew. Made it, though. I quite like these illustrations. They weren't in the demo. Whew. Yeah, I'm quite fortunate to have gone through that section before, so, yeah, I avoided dying a couple of times. Right, now that we got the power back on, we're going back to the security area? That's right, okay, so we need to deactivate the high security mode. I don't think she's up here? <laughs> I say nervously, anxiously. Alright. Oh, here we go, something else to interact with. Password required. Please provide the authorized personnel password. I forgot about that bit. We need a password. Uh, I'm focusing really hard, but I can't focus on a password, apparently. I got four seconds. Oh, shit. Um, password? Unauthorized uh. control detected. Shit. That... Oh, well, that's just... Oh, boy. Okay, find somewhere to hide. It's under a table, isn't it? Ah! Okay. Ooh. There she is. <laughs> yep, of course she's gonna spot me. Of course. Uh, right. Okay. What the hell's this? What? Hello, Daniel. Says my smartwatch. Walk. Right. Yeah, this is, I think, how the demo ended. What on earth am I looking at here? Okay. Don't move. Alright. Turn around. Oh. Standing in front of you, the world's first Metasapien. Not different from you, other than being perfect. Hmm. You created me, and I created her, Daniel. Observe her well. She's produced for you. Do you remember her? Can't say that I do. Let me assist you. Ooh. Let's play a game. Proceed to the door. Okay. Since when am I taking orders for my own smartwatch? Right. This is very, very strange. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Where's this then? The three doors. One, not scary at all. Two, normal. Three, very scary. Well, of course, I'm going to go for three, aren't I? Make a choice. Will do. Hopefully I don't regret it. Did you really think I was doing reverse psychology? 
We're inside your mind. Your choice didn't matter. I just wanted to know what you would choose. Well, now you know. I'm now sending you to somewhere you're familiar with. Proceed. Okay. This wasn't in the demo. This is now a blind playthrough, alright? What's that? A rabbit? Hmm. No going back, apparently. And this is all inside my mind, is it? This has some sort of significance? Okay. Oh. Whoa! Okay! Right? Forget walking, let's just get pulled into the white void. Okay. While I explore your mind, you hang around here. I prepared a little game for you to play. Oh, thank you. Have fun! <laughs> There's a picture of the rabbit. <laughs> Location? I don't know. Okay. Um, right. Oh, a nice try. Use the traditional ways for a while, Dan. <laughs> so I... Oh, yeah, I can't use my smartwatch here. I can pick this up. I'm out here. Here it seems familiar. Does it? Well, not to me. Alright. What have we got here? Okay. Okay, well there's a padlock across this box, so I'm gonna need to find a key to open it, I think. That's the symbol for Alpha, isn't it? Hmm. No clues on or around it aside from that that I can see. Alright. So, yeah, it's not all getting chased by androids. It's, uh, it's a puzzle game as well. There you go. I'm just checking back here. Can I leave? I guess not. <laughs> right. I can't even try the door, to be honest. Uh, I can try this one. Ah, but again, there's a lock on it. Oh. Interesting. Okay. It's a fancy sort of combination lock. We need to do different directions to get this open, I think. Hmm. Alright. What about this one? Well, this one doesn't even have a knob I can try. It does have a keyhole, though, so maybe. Hmm. What is that music that I'm hearing? If you can even call it that. It's very discordant, isn't it? Round here? <laughs> okay. This game's getting interesting. Ah, there's that symbol again. Right, ooh, keys. Can't pick those up. Let's see. I knew they'll find me. I'm sorry. I never meant to hurt you. I love you. And please forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. I love you. Alright. Nothing that I can actually use here by the looks of it. Ah, here we are. There you go. So, it looks like I need to find the four rabbit sculptures. Right. Well, I found one of them. Free to go. Anything interesting down here? I'm just looking for clues as to where this might be. Is this my house? Hmm, maybe. Got the rabbit symbol here. Do we... Ah, right, okay, so this is where I place all four of these. I guess I need to find the other three for this to open. Let's see, where else can I go? I saw a stairway. Yeah. Can we go up? What the heck is this? An indie horror game? Ah, <laughs> oh, why'd you have to go and say that? That was a little bit too on the nose, but... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Oh boy. Right. Let's not go that way. Let's not follow the blood. Let's maybe go this way instead. I think this is where the music's coming from. Can we turn this off? I don't think so. Ah, look, there's another one. Alright. Let's see, let's focus. Yeah, okay. This might be inside my mind, but I can at least focus. But I can't see anything else. Right. Time to follow that monster. Okay. Looks like she's gone. Maybe she snuck up the chimney or something. Okay, got another box. And another symbol. Okay, this is a more standard combination lock, so we're looking for 
A three-digit combination. Uh, okay. I guess there's only a thousand choices, but I'd rather not do it like that. Okay. Hmm. There's another one in the photo. Huh. Have I seen these portraits, these paintings before? I haven't really been looking for them, but... Interesting. Okay. Again, I'm focusing. There's these two things. I think that might be it. Can we open the drawers? No, doesn't look like it. Strange. Very strange. Um, alright. Well, let's see if we can maybe find those portraits, those paintings. They're not here. They might be downstairs, right? The Whoa. Okay. Pretty creepy. <laughs> let's see. They weren't in this room? No. No, I don't think so. Hmm. Didn't I just see that one? Wait, it's it's up here twice? Or three times? Maybe more? It probably holds some significance, honestly. No. There's some that have been taken down, but... Right. Maybe through one of these doors back here, but I don't know how to open them. I think I need a key. And to get one of the keys, I probably need to open one of the boxes, so... Yeah. So the symbol for this one was around here, right? Oh, well, hang on. Oh, I can swing it open like a door. Oh, I, what was that? What was that? There's something on the wall. I think that's a key. I think it is. Yeah, well, hang on. If it's a key, then it's probably for this box here, isn't it? Let's see. Hey, there we go. So inside we find... Directions. Okay, so down, up, down, right. For that weird lock? Down, up, down, right. Okay, let's try that. I gotta say, I like this so far. Is it this one? Right, hang on. So, down, up, down, right. Hey, there we go. Okay, so it's unlocked. Ah, ah, okay. Well, there you go, there's... There's the third. And I suppose we just need to put them back in the order that I saw? That one was on the left, I'm pretty sure. There you go. This one in the middle? And then that one was on the right. Oh. 750. That's the combination for the box upstairs, right? Ex Ooh. Are you? Just a demon in my mind, I guess. Right, okay. Anything else down here? No, we're still looking for one more rabbit, but I suppose maybe that's going to be in the box upstairs. So, seven, seven, five, zero. There you go. Perfect. And there you go, that's the last one. So, if I put all four on top of that table or chest or whatever it is, is that going to open up? And this is the game that the AI on my smartwatch has created for me? How clever is this AI? Hmm. Yeah. Alright. Around here, then. That bunny's looking a little bit lonely, don't you think? Let's add some friends. There you go. Ooh. Oh, shit. Alright. Through here? No, it's locked. That looks like... You can pull it down, right. This is a strange, strange place. Okay. Hmm. Seems we're going sort of sci-fi again. What have you got there? Some pills? A bolt? <laughs> Alright. Where the hell's this? Oh. Your mind is all over the place, Daniel. Apparently it is. <laughs> yeah, I really like those illustrations. Okay. 
So is this a real place, or is this still inside my mind? Hmm. Good morning, Daniel. Morning. You're now safely situated in Passiflora underground facilities. Incubator 7. You were asleep for an estimated period of two hours. All right. Wait, wait. Were all these that I lived through not real? During this period, you had received a message from the person, Dr. Jeffrey Phil. Hmm. The title reads, Urgent. Want me to read it? Read. Listen, Daniel. I, I know your mind is a mess right now. I will tell you everything shortly. We granted SinOS internet access. Hold on. What did you do? <laughs> that software didn't even have a firewall. I know. I know. It was a mistake. I thought this was but a message. Done. Listen, we've got to get you out of there. But the entire liability of the project is on your shoulders. Hmm. Therefore, to exculpate you, we need that thing you faced in the basement alive. Access the main laboratory to synthesize something that will put her into sleep. We'll be waiting for you at the main exit. But Daniel, watch out for the twins. Watch out for the twins. Does this man always talk this much? I'm opening the door for you. Go away. <laughs> oh, alright. Access the main laboratory by using the elevator, right. Oh wow. This is a big, big area here. The Awakening Lab. That one looks busted. Is that a statue back there? Right. What was that about the twins? And I've got to go and get her? Right. I think what I'm going to do is say thank you very much for watching part one of Everything is for Humanity. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope to see you back in part two. Thanks for watching. What you're about to learn may only make you feel restless and suspicious for the rest of your life. <laughs> is that all? Therefore. And apparently my limp has gone. All I needed was a short nap on the floor. Oh man, really? I thought the devs would have fixed that. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. Where is everyone? And did they just abandon me in the conference room? What dicks? <laughs> Do not enter. We'll see about that. Right, okay. The door's locked from the other side. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah, it's all coming back to me. Like a PTSD flashback. There you go. <laughs> Alright, let's take this slow. Oh. Fucking hell. I think that got me in the demo as well. Yeah, it's very dark around here. Oh shit, 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 shit! Well, that came and went a long time ago. Right, so I need to make it back to the generator now. Ah, shit! I don't know which way to go here. Definitely not that way! Definitely not that way! Okay. Ah, oh, shit! Back up to floor zero. Bloody hell. Watch! I don't think she's up here? <laughs> I say nervously, anxiously. Proceed to the door. Okay. Since when am I taking orders for my own smartwatch? I'm just checking back here. Can I leave? I guess not. <laughs> Let's see, where else can I go? I saw a stairway. Yeah. Can we go up? The heck is this? An indie horror game? <laughs> <laughs> they might be downstairs, right? The Whoa. 750. That's the combination for the box upstairs, right? Oh. Oh. Oh, shit. Alright. 